Also, a trial is underway in Santa Monica that some believe will have far-reaching implications. People who live in a west side high-rise have taken their landlord to court to try to stop the mass evictions there. NBC4's Robert Kovacic, he's been covering this story since May of last year. He joins us live from outside that high-rise with the latest developments. Robert. Colleen, we're talking about 712 apartment units. Barrington Plaza was once described as the largest privately built apartment complex in the western United States. And now those who live here are making a last stand to try and stay in the high rise here in their Sawtell neighborhood just off of Wilshire Boulevard. But they are facing an eviction, the size of which the city of Los Angeles has not seen since hundreds were forced from their homes in Chavez Ravine to build Dodger Stadium in the 1950s. It breaks my heart. Told to get out. People that have been here for 30 plus years and they don't have a family. They don't have anywhere to go. Forced from their rent controlled high rise. My studio is 2200. The studio over here across the street costs $4,500 starting. The landlord of Barrington Plaza says the evictions are necessary to modernize the 1962 complex, including fire safety upgrades after two fires, one of them fatal. If they get away with this, every single tenant in rent control building will be at risk. Continue renting their units to tenants. Now a trial underway in Santa Monica to decide one of the largest mass eviction cases in California history. We know that we are setting a precedent for other renters around the city and the state. It centers around the Ellis Act, a California law that allows landlords to evict tenants if they are exiting the business. But the evidence is going to show that virtually since the fire in 2020, they've been planning to re-rent, and they always plan to re-rent, and they will continue to plan to re-rent Barrington Plaza. In our view, that's not what the Ellis Act allows. A representative for the landlord, Douglas Emmett, tells NBC4 they will not be doing on-camera interviews. Quote, they believe allowing their presentation in court to speak for itself will best serve their interests. And now the residents of Barrington Plaza await their fate. We, we know that it's just not the 770 units here, but it is really bigger than us. And while this trial is just getting started, the Los Angeles City Council taking up a motion today to ensure that tenants receive maximum protections when faced with evictions by the Ellis Act. That motion, Colleen, passed unanimously with two council members not voting because they themselves are landlords. We're live here in West Los Angeles. I'm Robert Kovacic. Colleen, let's go back to you.